Radio Shouty. From your yolas to your bank rolls to everybody else that came out of there after y'all, man. What did what I was tell it like? you about them? What did I tell you about them? Seeing them early and putting them on, though, man. I mean, what is that like? Like you say, future in the studio meet here early on. What is it like when you see these boys get ready to go through what y'all went through? God damn it, I did something right. Nah, that shit crazy, man. It really motivation, man. Young bro. Lil Tane was his name, and Ooh. I gave it to him. Bankroll Fresh. That was his name at first, oh. Lil Tang. I named him that. I saw it then. I'm talking about when he was a kid playing in the dirt with Lil Peanut them. I saw it then and named him Lil Tang. Then he went to Bankroll Fresh. The little nigga flipped it. Is that not the same nah, thing see, I told he, you in the Before interview. he was fresh. Nah, see, before he was fresh. He was, no. young, he was young Tang. Nah, he was first. First, he, everybody was calling him Lil Pooh. I'm talking about what I named him. <laughs> and what, I'm talking about what he <laughs> named. I'm talking about what I named him what he went by. Yeah. Then, nah, then, in Alan then, Temple. Then he was going by Young Fresh before it was Bankroll Fresh. Mm -hmm. Because when I had him in my movie, The Trap, he wasn't even, it wasn't no Bankroll nothing. He was Young Fresh. He had already been Young Tang then before he was all that in this movie. And doing all that, he was already young Tang. He had been named that already. Let me get back in here because I got to ask you something about that movie. What is it like looking at that movie now, man? And then you seeing everybody that played a part in it, and you seeing Yola Life in Jail, Bank Past, and so many other folks that done went through so many different things. But then you think to yourself, I just remember being over there trying to put together a creative pro uh, project to keep this type of shit from happening. Well, I, it was the movie just was so real, like. 4.5 million in three years, no promo, not Come a on. fucking dollar spent, not on a fucking Instagram <laughs> ad or a Facebook no ad promotion. or a post or nothing. Nigga, you can't stop what's real and authentic. You Come see what on. I'm saying? And then, like, I just did that movie. When I wrote that movie, I didn't think about no actors. Mm -hmm. I just wrote the shit. That's my first movie I ever wrote. I just wrote it. Mm -hmm. And when I started thinking about characters, I started thinking about the people who I know who kind of... um. Was the was the character? Mm -hmm. Cause my niggas don't know how to act, so I gotta give a nigga a role based on if he really act like this, so he don't really gotta act. He just say the lines. Yeah. So when I did, I just start giving out roles. You gotta think I did this move in 2012. Nobody knew who Bankroll Fresh was to like 2015. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I see, I see potential in people. You see what right. I'm saying? And mm -hmm. everybody I put in that movie, they wanted to do it. Like I, like bro, we had to sit down and read a month before it. If you miss two readers, I kick your ass off. <laughs> I had about three, four homeboys that I kicked out. Like, probably no, nigga, you don't taking this shit serious. Mm, you see what I'm you. saying? And um, so when we did the movie, and the crazy part is because out of the three main characters, which is me, Yola, and Bankroll Fresh, and on the movie, Fresh go to jail, I die, and Yola, he stay living. Mm. In real life, Yola went to jail, Bankroll died, and I'm still here. Who Dang. who is responsible for your little Yola? That crazy. You know, who crazy responsible for little Yola be high? It's crazy. God to raise me, so it's gutter till I die. No you know sucker. Who the fuck is gutter? Pale. Pale. Who is gutter? Gutter entertainment. Who is gutter? Gutter entertainment. Who is gutter? <laughs> who owns it? Why you chain it? Uh, they ain't got a goddamn thing to do with it. <laughs> what is shit wrote in plain it? Put it in that motherfucking face. What is, what is shit wrote in plain it? <laughs> Fuck with a chain it. What is where's wrote in plain it? You go to it. Where's black and white and they don't like? <laughs> that nigga feel crazy. No, you go to it. Oh, okay. Go to raise me. So that's who the fuck he's talking about, me and Logan. He took his style and his format for me and got his delivery from Raymond. Shout out to Raymond. Free Raymond. Rudy. Rudy Ray. I was just in the dome with him a few months ago in Rice Street. 